Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the very first part of my Cats and Dogs LP. It does not officially have a name yet so I don't have one for the intro. It will eventually get name, a name. I'm throwing some names around so I'm not quite sure yet. But anyway, let's move on. If you're new to my channel, hi, I'm Makia. My This is my channel. I've been running it for about nine months now. Vina Fredache, which is Let's Play in Simlish. Um, I have a couple different LPs on my channel. I have a Black Widow, a Sim Self, a Friends Challenge, which is called Penthouse Roommates. And I currently also still have a Parenthood LP going on, but that will be finishing up soon. <clears throat> so, welcome to The Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Create cats and dogs. Use the powerful Create a Pet tool to express your creativity as you customize your Sims' perfect cats, dogs, puppies, and kittens. Choose, ooh, choose from a variety of breeds, give them distinct personalities, and, direct manip and directly manipulate their features. Bond with your pets. Experience the companionship and fun that fury friends bring to your sims' lives. Cats and dogs have minds of their own and form special relationships with sims based on their daily interactions. Become a vet and run a clinic. Build a veterinary clinic. Hire a detective. Hire a dedicated staff and further your career as the town's most promising animal doctor. You're in control of daily operations from the services offered to what you charge. Explore Brittleton Bay. Discover the coastal shores of Brittleton Bay, a new world where your sins and their pets can live and enjoy outdoor activities. Play fetch near the harbor docks, take a walk for the lighthouse, or visit a park to set up an obstacle course. Now this is my very first Sims ex pet expansion pack. I've played online Sims, I've played um, Sims Free Play, I've also played Sims 3. I never got the pets expansion packs for Sims 3 because I actually didn't care to have pets. Now growing up I never had a official pet like this. I've only had fish. I've had beta fish, goldfish, um, tropical fish. I've had all different types of fish throughout my life, but I've never had an actual pet that most people have, such as a cat or a dog. Me personally, I am, I've grown a little bit less scared, but I am kind of still scared of dogs. Once I get used to a dog, I'm okay, but for the most part, I see a dog, especially a big dog, I will be very frightened. Now for cats, I'm not necessarily against cats either, but I lived with a cat a freshman year in college and that cat was crazy. But I don't know, I wouldn't mind getting a dog, a small one though. Um, and I wouldn't mind getting a cat either, but I don't know, it's, I probably want only a particular breed of cat, I don't know. Anyway, in this LP, we will, bring, we will be bringing back Simone from my Snow White and the Seven Doors Challenge LP because I felt bad all she got to do was stay in that house for the entire challenge and take care of seven toddlers. We completed the challenge and the toddlers have aged up and she no longer ooh, she no longer lives with them. So throughout this LP we'll get to see her outside. We'll explore Br Brittleton Bay. We'll adopt in a pet. We'll make a pet. All that fun stuff. Because this is my first pet um, expansion pack. I want to explore it and have all the fun I can with it. I'm very excited for this. But I have not played my game since the patch on Tuesday. I'm literally recording this hours after Cats and Dolls came out. So after I uploaded, after I recorded Falling for Vanessa, which is my SimSelf LP, I have not opened my game. Because... My mods were broken, and then I heard about the relationship issue with the last patch. And so then they released a patch on Thursday that supposedly that fixed that. I didn't want to have to deal with any issues of my game, so I have not opened my game since the patch on Tuesday. So I still have to go in and do all my setup, but I will meet you guys there in Simone's house in Brittleton Bay. See ya! 
On the night after Simone dropped off one of her last kids for adoption, her dad and her stepmom and a friend returned to the house. Not long after being there, <laughs> Ivy, Simone's stepmom, was already arguing with her about not having any money left in the house and how the house looked erect, even though she didn't have any more kids living with her. See, Ivy was out for Simone's dad's money. He wasn't super rich, but he had a good amount of money. And he knew that he was planning on giving it to Simone. She did not want that to happen. And what no one knew is that on the side, Ivy was having an affair with Emilio, the friend that came to the house with them. She asked Emilio to do her a favor to get rid of Simone. She didn't give him any ideas exactly how, but he had to get rid of her. But Emilio being a good person, he couldn't just do the evil route of anything. He warned Simone and gave her some money and told her to hide away in Brittleton Bay until he could find a way to convince Ivy that getting rid of her wasn't the right idea. All right, guys, here we are at Simone's new house. So as you saw in the back, well, not backstory and the stuff that happened, I guess, in between when the last challenge and when we saw her taking care of all those lovely toddlers who aged up to wonderful children. <laughs> um, <clears throat> she got dropped off at this little house that I actually did a speed build on, which will probably be uploaded after this. Um, this is the house we're gonna gonna start off with. Um, and as I was kind of building the story, the character, sorry, building the Sims for her backstory, which I actually never said in the Snow White and the Seven Doors challenge. Uh oh, she's getting. A phone call. No, bro, we don't want to talk to you. <clears throat> Where was I? See, you distracted me. Um, yes, as I was building the characters, because I didn't, I made her backstory, but I never actually created The Sims for her backstory. But I wanted them to be there for connection purposes. But as I was building them, I didn't want to actually remove them from the world so I'm gonna keep them in as just someone for her to people for her to still be connected to anyway <clears throat> so here's Ivy who was her stepmom but is not labeled as anything they dislike each other of course um Trenton who is her dad and then Emilio who is her stepmom's side piece I guess you could say who lives in the house oddly enough anyway he is kind of the huntsman I'm trying to keep up the Snow White characters in a sense I know her dad technically died or whatever or is not in the movie I don't remember much deeply about the story but I wanted her dad to still be in the story so her dad her stepmom and then the huntsman who is who takes her into seclusion just to be safe so this is her house and the point of this series is for her to, <clears throat> well, I forgot to move the mailbox over, um, is to have her become a good veterinarian and op open a clinic. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me, my voice is going. Excuse me. And open a clinic. Let me show you the house. Open a clinic, and I do want her to have at least a cat and a dog. I don't know. We can probably get any more pets in it. I don't know, because... They do actually take up slots in your household. Oh, look at the cat. What is it? Let's see, Dakota's a stray and she's an adult. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but I, I think I want her to at least her first pet will probably be something as a stray or an adopted one. I'm thinking astray because she lives on the island that is in Brittleton Bay. 
Um, there's a museum actually on the lot, but I um, bulldozed it and put her house here. So she has the entire island to herself. Kind of works for the story. She needs to be in seclusion. She's hiding away from her stepmom. And her dad has no idea what is going on. So she's getting her rest in, but she needs to wake up, though. About to be noon, girl. Let's get up. And then come and use your bathroom and take a shower. Let's brush your teeth. And you have nothing in your fridge since you just moved in. You don't need to eat, but you could have some food in the fridge. Because now we have the get leftovers option. So... You know what? Let's take a jog first. That way we can see the island as she goes for a jog. <clears throat> oh, give you some privacy. Sorry. I'll look in your space as you go to take a shower. But yes, this is our house. Very small. Very simple. It's really not much. It's the living space, a bathroom, a kitchen, and her room. And then outside, I wanted to keep her doing the yoga and the painting that she hardly got to do in the last challenge. But in this series, like I said, we're going to be exploring her relationship, ooh, her relationship side. Because we never got to explore that because she spent the majority of her time taking care of all the toddlers. They only left the house toward the end when we got the toddler stuff pack. Um, no, no TV. Um, let's go jogging. So we can go check out the island. And I'm still not sure, like I said early on and when I was reading the description of the new cats and dogs um, expansion, that <clears throat> I'm not sure what I'm going to name it. Oh, I forgot I gave her. <laughs> I forgot I gave this as her sportswear. I changed her. So she, of course, has some of the outfits from cat and dog. And I forgot I gave her the one with the cat ears. So I guess we should probably, that way we can see it. There we go. <clears throat> Let's see, we get to see the island as she jogs. But yeah, we'll explore her relationship side, getting her to open her clinic, find her prince, I guess you could say. Don't know who her prince will be. Um, start her family, all that sort of thing. So let's see what does she want to do she wants to be mischievous to ivy and then she wants to buy a basketball hoop mm, we'll see about that i don't like basketball hoops because i don't care how much they say that glitch is fixed oh here's the Ooh, pause oh the graveyard i forgot that the graveyard was on the island Ooh, cool pictures <clears throat> okay sorry i didn't mean to interrupt your jogging go ahead sweetie <clears throat> i just completely forgot what was on the island see that's why i sent her for a jog so we can see what was on it she get her workout in at the same time I want to see if we see any more um, stray animals. We saw that stray cat earlier. Oh, is that the same cat too? I think that's the same cat. We might adopt you. We'll see. But you're an adult. I kind of wanted like a kitten to start off. But I guess when we adopt, we'll adopt a kitten or a puppy. <clears throat> and the stray will probably be an adult anyway. There's another one. What is that? Stop. Ooh. No, you don't. Okay. Really? Like, why can't I? What do we have here? Ooh, I think I like this one. Queen Cupcake? <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Stop your job. Stop your job. I just like the name Queen Cupcake. Um, the friendliest introduction, of course. Come on. Please don't let us lose this stray. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, 
please don't lose her. Oh, I wanted you to stay in your work fair, um, athletic where you had on cat ears and everything. It would have been cute. Okay, we didn't lose her. Hi, Queen Cupcake. Let's see, hopefully it goes well. Kind of wrinkly though, but still, I just like the name Queen Cupcake. <clears throat> and like I said earlier also, I've never had a, um, a, uh, pet's expansion pack for The Sims. So this is my first time, so I will... What's wrong? Let's see, what's wrong with it? So I'm really gonna be exploring this, because I really don't know how to... How pets in Sims really work all that well. Oh, you're hungry. Uh, give a big treat. Give her a big treat. Queen Cupcake is hungry. Don't forget to fill up a pet bowl for her. <clears throat> I didn't add any of the pet stuff to the house because I didn't know what kind of pet that she was going to um, be getting first. Oh, and I changed her aspiration so she no longer has the aspiration that she had in the Snow White and the Seven Doors aspiration um, challenge. Excuse me. So she now has the aspiration that came with the cats and dogs, friends of the animals, and now um, have a pet in your household, be a friend with one animal, be friendly with animals 12 times. So, but I think I want to try to adopt add, or add Queen Cupcake to our household, but we gotta, um, let's see. Um, pet her. Um, get to know her. Um, talk to, um, ooh, oh, we can adopt her already? What could be cuter and better for your relationship? Yes, let's try to adopt her so we can just go ahead and feed her. Because, okay, <clears throat> the meowing is killing me <laughs> already. Okay, what's pro Okay. What's going on? Yes, yeah, just go ahead and adopt. Because <laughs> we... Or is it not going to let us do it? What is going on? We getting it done right away. I'll be friends with Animal. Are you sure you want to adopt this? Taking care of a new pet is a big responsibility. Of course. That's the point of this. I want a pet in our household. I didn't know we were going to do it so quickly. But I don't know. She's cute. And I, like I said, I love the name Queen Cupcake. I don't even want to change it. Um, yeah. She don't need a last name. Queen Cupcake is enough. Adoption complete. Congratulations. You added a pet to your household. Look at that. Wait, don't. Oh, look at that. Oh, she's wrinkly and cute. I'm assuming that she just because of the name Queen Cupcake. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. My throat. Okay. Now we just need stuff for her in our household. Now she's down there with us and... Oh, oh, right. Her tra curious lesson. Queen Cupcake is a curious cat. Try asking what's that and watch them investigate around the house. Okay. Um, where is it? We just had it. What's that? There we go. Oh, we are still away from home because we were jogging when we found her.
Okay, she didn't go find anything. Um, let's go home because we need to add stuff. Where is home? And then I think, yeah, we call her over with that. There we go. So she, oh, we weren't that far from home. Oh, okay, good. Make sure this, okay, make sure that still set us for the door. Okay. Oh, look at that go. Okay. Okay. Now, let's add stuff to the house for our cats. And as you can see, she does have some funds compared to how she ended in um, Snow White and the Seven Doors Challenge. You know, he, the huntsman not going to put her up in the house with no money. She got to survive. So she's got money for now. But we also need money so we can open the clinic as well. So, let's see. We are going to put a pet bed in our room. But I think they can sleep on the on the bed as well. But we're going to still put one in the room. Let's see. She's an adult, so she's probably going to need something bigger. Let's see. Ooh, that is huge. But her name is Queen Cupcake. That is so huge, though. Hmm. Hmm. We don't have a whole lot of space for all of this stuff. Hmm. Let's see. <clears throat> I guess it's gonna have to go here. Hmm. What else will we need? Um, we should probably get one of these, but we probably need to start off small because we don't have a lot of space and it seems like this stuff is going to take up a lot of space. Uh, or we could put something over here in this corner. Um, let's see. Can we angle it a little bit? Uh, let's change the color. I like that one though. Let me see what the rest of I like that one. But I think this one works better. <clears throat> okay, and then we need something to feed her. <clears throat> the easiest one is one of these because it's just auto fill. Um. I think this one works. Okay. Um, we do need a laser pointer. Ooh, I like that one. Put that there. Um, anything else? I think that's kind of it for now. Oh, litter box. Um, let's see. It is a necessity of the cat that they lick themselves, sit on the high perches, <laughs> wow, and take a rusing poo poo from time to time. Fear not the what? the award-winning cat and pooping as the perfect box in which your tiny kitty can make all the poop poos they want with nary and fuss. Wow. <laughs> that is a lot. Um, let's. It's not that expensive though, but. Mm, let's do this one though. Where should we put this one? Uh. Mm -hmm. Uh. We might have to put the litter box outside. We don't have seasons anyway, so. Um, let's put it here. Uh-oh. Um, 
Okay. I think we're good though. I think we got everything. Because the laser is a good toy. I guess. It's... And then we got that. Which is a, um, a, ooh, a scratching post. Because they are. She is not going to mess up the couch. Um, let's see. Put this like in this corner right over here. Okay, there we go. Now I think we really have everything. We'll probably have to buy more as we go, but for now, I think we're good. Now we're just waiting for her to come inside. Uh, let's add food. Fill. And then we need to set a scheduled time. Ooh, she is on the counter. That is a no no. Um, lecture about jumping on counters. We don't want you on the counter. Oh, she's mischievous. Queen Cupcake is a mischievous cat. This must be. They misbehave more often and can even be encouraged to misbehave. Oh, wow. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Okay, hold on. Let me check the relationship panel. Let's see. Oh, wow. She, she is female. She's an adult. She's glutton, mischievous, and curious. Oh, Lord. What did I do? This is going to be fun. Um, we can pamper on couch. Um, brush her. And hug her because we need to eat ourselves. Simone, get off the computer, sweetie. Oh, she probably needs to go. Because <clears throat> he's red, and I think we can ask them what's wrong. Oh, ooh. Of course, we got to get pictures of her brushing. Oh my goodness. We haven't even left the house yet. And I'm having so much fun. Okay, because we are we do we are we need to explore Brittleton Bay. Oh, there's another cute cat. Oh, we just racking up our stuff. Okay. We need to come and make ourselves some food. So oh right, because I want to go get that popcorn shrimp, that lobster stuff. I don't want to leave the cat in the house by herself just yet. Because especially if she's mischievous. So let's... Let's have some clam chowder. Our first dinner in the house. Queen Cupcake is a glutton pet. Gluttons like to eat a lot. Very messily. Oh, Lord. I didn't think this through. <laughs> I just got excited about the name and her traits are just, oh my gosh. But we're gonna love her anyway, right? We do, cause I love her anyway. And she's only been in the house, what, five minutes? Oh Lord. It's all right, Simone is used to having to clean up after <laughs> pets, after <laughs> messy people. She's had seven toddlers to take care of. Oh, but I do need to reset her age though. Let's see. See, she didn't get to complete as much satisfaction points because she had the the family one and none of the toddlers counted as her kids even though they, they were dependent. Um, I don't think she has enough to reset her age because I want her to be freshly an adult again. So where is it? Potion of Youth. <gasps> we do! I wanted to MC Ma, but I don't mind resetting it because she's going to earn satisfaction points anyway with because we're going to complete her aspiration. 
We're gonna redeem it. Yes. Because, let me see. I think aging is off, so I, oh no, it's on still. Right, I want aging on. Yeah, see, she has 67 days. See, I want her to have kids and everything. So, we need to reset that. She's already lost, because how many toddler days? It's like 27, she's already lost 27 days. Because she's been raising toddlers. So, you're gonna eat that clam chowder. Oh, I didn't put any music in here. Um, any stereos in here. We're gonna need to add that. But we <clears throat> worry about that in a second. Go ahead and eat. Where is Queen Cupcake? Oh, she's still eating. Of course. Because I said it for th every three hours. Because Miss Glutton, you're not going to get it on every hour on the hour. Where are you heading to? Oh, go into your litter box. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Oh, sorry. Privacy. I know what you're going to do, but I still was zooming in. Well, at least she's going on the litter box. And then I need for you to put this away. And we will take this potion of youth. Oh, she's chasing her tail. <laughs> Lord. You let not a... Oh, jeez. Now, does this one... Okay, I don't know. Alright. Let's take... Let's drink that. Now, I've never actually... Had anyone do it. I tried to do it in my Legacy Challenge, but I ended up not using it. Because who I wanted to use it for couldn't use it because it wasn't for some, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take this. Go ahead and take it. Let me actually put it on her thing. Let's see. Should probably get a picture of her doing it, of course. You know, hello. I like to take my pictures. Get in position. Oh, it glows. Just a one shot? Okay, there we go. And she's down. Back. Oh, and she gained. Pause. She gained this trait. Um, Animal affection. Relationship with animals began at higher values. Okay. So her age is reset and she's inspired and ready to paint. But I think I actually want you to explore Brittleton Bay. But I think we might have to do that in the next part, though, because <laughs> this part might is going to be kind of long, and I don't want it to drag on forever. So I think I will let you come and paint, and I will end the part. Where is Queen Cupcake? Where are you, Queen Cupcake? Where are you? <gasps> no, no, no! She's scratching the couch! <sighs> of course. Lecture about scratching. Come on. Simone, your cat is scratching up your new couch. That's why you have a scratching post. You are having... <laughs> but yeah, with that, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the part right here. So go ahead and leave a comment down below. Ooh, can I get inside? Yep. We got to see Queen Cupcake. There we go. So yeah, go ahead and leave a comment down below. Hit that like button because you know you want to subscribe if you haven't. And hit that bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video. And until the next part, guys, bye.